Hello everyone, uh, this is Shrani Ranpura from Rico EHS Services LLP from India and I have with me my colleague uh, Sushil More. Uh, today we are going to demonstrate uh, how to use the TSI's ProtoCount Plus 8048 model for the quantitative respirator fit testing. This ProtoCount Plus 8048 is the latest model that is available from TSI in the market. So first let us see the accessories uh, that is required to do the quantitative respirator fit testing. So this is the main equipment uh, that is a TSI protocount which is connected with the laptop and there is a software uh, Fit Pro Ultra uh, which will show the particular respirator fit testing. Uh, this is for the N95 uh, uh, testing. Of, this is a <coughs> insertion uh, tool uh, to insert the probe. Uh, this is a twin tube which will get connected with the uh, rotor count. Uh, there is a wick inside uh, with the filter that will get inserted inside of the rotor count. Uh, this is a HEPA filter for the daily check that needs to be done. And this is the IPA. IPA will be poured inside of the cylinder and then the particular uh, wick uh, will be poured inside uh, to make that particular wick uh, uh, with uh, IPSO. Now, there are different types of respirator uh, and the need of quantitative respirator fit testing depends on the particular uh, standard de defined by OSHA. But let me show you three different types of respirators and accessories associated with that. So this is first uh, 3M uh, half face face respirator. Uh, this is an adapter uh, is required. Uh, these are the insertion uh, probe, uh, there is a tubing available which will uh, go inside of the uh, half face piece respirator and measure the concentration inside. The outside one will get connected uh, with the particular uh, uh, adapter and then uh, this particular one will get connected with protocount. Now when you have to do the particular fit testing, uh, you will need to use either P100 filter or a HEPA filter because this is uh, required as per the standard. <coughs> the second one that I have is a dragger uh, adapter kit. So this is a dragger SCBA self-contained breathing apparatus kit. For that there is a HEPA filter uh, is available and this is an adapter kit uh, for the dragger. And then if you would like to do the fit testing uh, quantitative for N95 respirator, you need an N95 respirator. This is an insertion probe and then this is a particular uh, lock available over here. And we will now demonstrate you how to use uh, the protocount with uh, 3M half face piece respirator and uh, 3M's N95 respirator. Use the protocount installation. First insert the particular uh, wick uh, which was soaked inside of uh, the IPA and then connect the twin tube. There is a blue probe. Uh, port available. So the blue uh, color tube needs to be connected with the blue uh, port and the transparent one uh, with the uh, white one. So now uh, this is connected over here uh, with the Fit Pro Ultra and uh, we will now do the daily check with use of the HEPA filter. We are ready uh, with the daily check. Uh, this is essential to do uh, whenever you are using the TSI Proto account. First you detach the HEPA filter and then you press the continue. The ambient particle counts uh, will go first and then we will connect the HEPA filter. So it says attach HEPA filter. So now we are attaching the HEPA filter and then uh, we will press the continue after we attach the HEPA filter and now we continue. And there is a zero check uh, being performed and after that we get the maximum fit factor uh, number that is uh, can be possible with this uh, type of rotor count. So now we get here maximum fit factor of 62,000. Now this rotor count uh, is done the daily check. Uh, we will remove the HEPA filter from this and then we perform the particular thing. So this probe uh, we will put it in the insertion tool then we will have a particular uh, 
insertion so first we have to take the insertion here now this is a lock we put a lock over here and then we have to ensure that it is properly fit so now it is properly fit inside and then whatever concentration is inside uh, we will be able to know okay so now we are inserting this particular tube uh, with the particular probe so this now uh, we are ready to do the quantitative fit test on the particular n95 respirator we have inserted all the required details here and now we start the particular fit testing there are uh, different different exercises as you see here normal breathing after that deep breathing uh, then uh, head side to side head up and down talking then uh, grimace which means making uh, face uh, smiley and all to break the seal then bending over and last the normal breathing now the fit factor that has been selected here is 100 so the ambient uh, particle count you can see here 571 and uh, inside of the respirator that you see over here it seems to be zero as of now Deep breathing is uh, being done so you see here uh, the first normal breathing fit factor is achieved as 200 plus now the deep breathing exercise is on third exercise head side to side so the user need to do head side to side and then during that time whatever the fit factor is there uh, we also need to check that fit factor the fourth exercise head up and down so the user need to do head up and down and at that time the fit factor will be checked over here each exercise is for 60 seconds of the time so normally eight exercise will take around eight minutes of the time the next there. exercise is for the talking so during the talk also is there any leakage or not that needs to be checked when the sunlight strikes exercise is of bending so user need to bend uh, so during the bending time also is there any leakage or not that needs to be checked exercise is a normal breathing so after all this exercise uh, user need to do a normal breathing at the end so at the end the result says that user has passed the particular test uh, with overall fit factor of more than 200 uh, against pass level of 100.